Hello everybody, welcome to the first, the second round match between Jonza with his Nurgle and Crucifer. And it started off with one of Crucifer's balls getting cast on a thrower rock. Oh my fucking god. Instant Apo. Oh my god. That, what a start to the match that is. Crucifer. This is bugged, right? Because, uh... The Kaz was a three, so this is just bug the way it's showing there. Unbelievable. Um, Gotta love those no stadiums. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hello, Muppet. Hello there. Tired, Jim. Oh, God, I'm shattered. Right, there we go. Um, we've got two kills to try and win the drive. Oh, no, a kill on a Kaz to try and win the drive. From Crucifer. The pile in, and the Nurgle team's very rowdy, isn't it? Three claw mighties, and a claw pom, jump up claw pom, an arch five tackler, block guard stand firm beast, strength up carrier, and Cruz doesn't even have a wizard. Wow, as Cruz has quad sculled, he's had a fucking ball cast, and he's quad sculled on the first turn. My oh, fucking yeah. god, what a start that and that was a, it's six goals in a row <laughs> Unbelievable Guess at least he caught the ball, eh? Unbelievable Yeah at least he did yeah holy shit I totally forgot this match was on, but I didn't miss a lot, did we? <laughs> right, that's everyone added. And there's Muppet, fresh from murdering people in electrical. <laughs> hey, I didn't murder anyone. There's too many people there. Yeah, <laughs> you were gonna. <laughs> I was gonna risk I wanted to risk it so badly on the PC, because we both did the top... the corner. Uh, part in electrical. I mm. was like, if no one comes up here, I can get away with it, but. Uh, You're a poor uh, murdering bastard, Muppet. It has to be said. I knew it was you. And I can't believe they didn't vote if, 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 I can't believe they didn't vote you off. There's four people left and they don't know who it is. It's Muppet. It's like, it's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> it's the safest bet there is. In a dodge fail, but I didn't, I didn't mind standing up there. He's next to his beast buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? He's got two guards on him. That's not super easy to dislodge. This is looking really rough for Chris, isn't it? This is like. It's going to be tough. I mean, he, he did make two removals, so at least he's, you know, at least he's men up for the, this drive, even though the quality of men that he's removed is not the same as what he's lost. It's going to be rough, isn't it? Like, it's already a rough game. Nurgle, high TV, Chorfs are not as good as high TV Nurgle, like, in the matchup. And this push jump guy is stuck. Can't really move. Oh, so he's got a Chorf blocker with guard on his inducements? Yeah, uh, yeah, he's got a lot yeah. Yeah, so he's got, so he's got 150, 200 inducements, hasn't he? And he's gonna, yeah, babe. And he, that's 150 for a, a merc. Ga a guard mer, a chorf, guard chorf blocker mercenary is 150. So he's had 200 inducements, and that's why he's gone. So, no wizard, I guess the extra block is more important. I guess that's what he thinks. Who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> um, Six. I mean, he outguarded it without the uh, loner, so... Yeah, but outguarding, like, you know, he's got claw pom, hasn't even loads of claw, yeah. mate. He's going to get people removed, I guess, is what he's thinking. But I wouldn't have minded just taking two apples. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're not going to go with the wizard. But, um, yeah, because it just seems so easy to lose this guard guard. But block, stand firm, guard beast is so good. 
Yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's not getting red dice, probably. With the block. It's just so much TV, though, right? It's giving it's giving him a wizard, basically, but not. <laughs> not because he didn't take the wizard, but it, you know, so I guess it's good if your opponents don't take wizards. No claw pom here, so he is he is leaving himself open to the counter. Nope, we matter. do he get a removal. <laughs> kind of good player. No region. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, he did, yeah, with Jones Payne, yeah. I, don't, I don't like I don't like that. But now he's gotta rely on the beast here, hasn't he? Because uh he needs to he needs to push this Merc away. So he, and then get him in so he can 2D him. Oh he's just moving him in there, okay, I guess that works. And then he can blitz here. I could block here though, couldn't he? He'd rather block, be able to block there. Yeah, be careful as well. This uh, Palmer has minus movement, so he's not as fast. But he is jump up still. Yeah. Which is which is brilliant. No, oh, right, so that's that's pretty good then, isn't it? Because then he's got two guards in here, so that gives him the two D on the strength four. And he's still got a beast buddy if he wants to risk it, because the uh, rot is here. Yep. Yeah, that was pretty good. Another claw hit. Instant power. Instant. Hello, backyard Dodo. The guy who <laughs> who had as many re rolls as unspotted fouls. <laughs> it was a great game to watch, though. Did Did you use a team re roll at all, Ducky, in the entire game? <laughs> I don't think he did. I don't think he did. No, he used a lot of pros, but I don't recall him using a team re roll. I feel like he ended half one with five and half two with six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you even have three rolls, Ducky? You're just giving away TV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another double scores. Wow. Don't reroll out on two, do you? No. Yeah, I mean, it's not got my blows. So... Against. But he is freeing his uh, other chuff blocker that was stuck. Yeah, it's like between two players, isn't it? And it's a good uh, one. I mean, essentially three, right? You could have powered him, and then he could have also blocked with a, with the beast. So that's like a, a kind of like a five a five player swing there. We can rotate a bit here, Cop, if we trust in break tackle getting away. It could be. Ah, oh, did you ducky? Turn to <laughs> so one reroll used in the entire game. Oh, yeah, ten. he ended the first half with four, the second half with six. There were ten used rerolls. Jesus. Hello, PC. Evening, evening. Welcome back, PC. Well, I'm going to start my stream, but as I want to watch this, I think I'll watch <laughs> the stream afterwards. That's that works. Glorious. We do have a dirty player hobgoblin. We could get some fouls in. It's hard, though, isn't it? With two stuns, destroyed team. I don't know if you saw the start PC, but um, it started with Crucifer's bull getting hit by a rock. <laughs> the cow. And, and Apple's oh. gone already. <laughs> yeah, Apple's gone. This is just a visual bug here. Right. But you know, if anyone knows how to cope with a, an early bull gone, it's probably Crucifer. He's uh, a lot of experience. It won't frighten him. Big Ham could join the commentary booth if he wanted to fuck Get a foul username. Very good. I guess, I suppose, if you're going to lose a bull, then against a not very mobile team is probably the time to do it, isn't it? Yeah. If this was Elves, I'd be a lot more worried about losing one of my two very mobile pieces. It's just, it's just bad, in, like, it's just still bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it, there's no good about it. I'm just trying to... You know. Well, you know, when you uh, when you lose a bull, when you lose a bull, there is a massive equity swing. We do power the beast. <laughs> Hello, Fofos. Have you, have you managed to extinguish the flames in your, in your, in your kitchen? 
I have, yes. Uh, it's something happened, you know, the burning okay. started. No one's dead. <laughs> now, nobody said the burning started just coincidentally and then somehow managed to stop almost immediately after. Oh, wow, that was lucky. Yeah. I know, I know. I had to concede the game, though, because, you know, fire and all, so, you know, it'd be like that. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough, man. I, I don't blame you for conceding there. That's, you've, you, safety always comes first. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That is not how I expected your voice to sound, Fault Force. Play, you played with me before. We used to play Heroes of the Storm. Oh, yeah, we played Heroes of the Storm. We played a couple of fucking slammers on Heroes. Exactly, mate. Exactly. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm Everyone realised Fault yeah. Force was oh, basically sorry. had a voice that's a cut price version of mine. Yeah, a it cut is. Cut price it? Like, get a cut price version of that fucking guy. Oh, mate, what was his name? This version is far superior. <laughs> it is, yeah. Like, right, I'll fun. be back in a few minutes. Uh, oh. 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 BRB. Good luck with your equity swings and blood ball things. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. BRB. <laughs> Big hand there. Calling J5 to the booth. <laughs> and that's the same. And when he plays blood ball, he's got no J5 clue what's going on. Oh, oh, me. I'm too tired for this stuff. <laughs> I am as well. I was ready. I was ready to prop, basically go to bed. <laughs> I was going to do a little bit of uploading things to for the wrestling for WrestleMania, and then I was going to go to bed, and then like here we are. Woo! Jim pushes. Woo! Jim powers. <laughs> Classic Jim powers. Put the uh, beast stay down, which is pretty helpful for Crucifer next turn. Yeah. You should do it, J5. It's a stupid beast. <laughs> Jimmy, you're going to put your screen show on so I can watch your awful camera work before the stream and actually say some stuff? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Jimmy PC, the 12 year old in the slice of fun. Yep. There's been a lot of attrition for turn three, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> Everything's down. Yes. Two cars, a KO on that side, and a Kaz and a KO on this side. With your apple gone. And a that's reasonable the... warrior that won't be there for the next game. I mean, no one's going to care about the two rotters, but. The short bench makes that a worry, yeah. Another KO? Cool. This what Force would say. <laughs> this is a deadly game. It really is. So even without the bull, Crucifer has pretty much banged this teen out already, hasn't he? Yeah. There's, there's you know, some things left, but not a lot. Yeah, quality-wise, all all of the good players are left, but it doesn't matter if they can't yeah. make two dice blocks because there's only seven <laughs> of them. <laughs> well, and because they're going to, you know, start the turn in some horrific positions. But if that claw mighty blow does start firing, take a chore or two, change everything. Yep, he, he, I mean, Cruz can't stop him getting two dice blitzes, can he? Because he's he's got no. strength four claw on. Horns. Yep. Yep. Oh, one dice wrestle. Let's go. And that chorf needs rescuing or it's getting two died. <laughs> the blitz gone. I mean, you could put the other chorf in and get yourself a one die. At least, at least push it off. It's not stand for. He's punched him. And now we can... uh, okay, and that way retreated off him. No, that. It's good. Yeah, we can leave the uh, beast where it is now and just. One in nine there would have been filthy, but sometimes you've got to take those risks. You have to drop the GG here if you're Jonza. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way around it. Uh, well, you tell me how he plays his way out of this. Uh, just by blitzing with claw pump. Yeah, you have to drop the GG or you don't get a good dice. Go to uh, overtime, win the toss. 
yeah, at this point, you don't defend the ball, certainly not for the next few turns. Um, maybe by turn 7, 8, if Christopher hasn't stalled, you might be able to defend again. But right now, all you worry about is getting as many claw mighty blow hits on ideally chorfs as you can. Though if you have to remove a hobgoblin, that helps too. Yeah. You can even 3D this guy, right? You can... There's two ways of doing yeah. it. You could, um, you could, you could claw plumb one of these and block the other. Or you could just bring in a guy and block one away. And you could even 3D, 3D this one if you wanted. Couldn't you, with a claw yeah, I mean, that's what I'd be doing. Those two chorfs look very hittable to me. And even though one's a loner, just removing it from this game is brilliant. It's still a blocker and it's still got guard. So yep. Just... Yep. That would be my targets. And then I don't mind standing the beast up if it works, because the chorf he's on is only mighty blow. Yeah. The high test move is to blitz the uh, ball. <laughs> The morning move. Uh, Al. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Well, that's that's an idea, Alp. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. The problem is, is that you'd have to put a guard in. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Even using your uh, your claw pommer, and your claw pommer no from the edge, which means if you get a one in nine, you're stuck on the edge and have to dodge off. And your movement five because he's minus movement and can't reach that one. Yeah. yeah, so you actually can't get there with the claw pommer, so you'd have to go with a Chaos Warrior, which is even Oh, he's moving. I don't see the movement on Jim's screen here. <laughs> Didn't know that. Otherwise, great play. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad I could. He's got to make these plays sometimes. I mean, you know? I, I, I can go on, help me. He's, really put, his, he's put his guard up there anyway, you know. One square over, same results. Yeah, I don't think he should have done. I think he should have kept the guard on the other side, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's bad. That puts him at risk from the claw mighty blow strength four chorf, which he didn't need to be. Yeah, just giving him a free hit. Yeah, absolutely. So here's the thing, he's fucked it and not killed the ball. Whereas he could have just fucked it and killed the ball. That would have been great. I mean, if he'd killed the ball, that would have been a decent outcome, but still putting himself at huge amounts of risk. But you're right, he has still put himself at that risk. <laughs> Which, I... Not a good decision. I really I really hate, to be honest, uh, blitzing with a claw mate, and then he can't pile on, can he? He didn't blitz with the claw mate. only terrified with the beast. What a crazy guy. Okay, that... Uh, well... That's not, again, a good decision, but it was it's helped a lot with the other problems he's created for himself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You shouldn't be, like, creating problems and fixing them in the same time. Well, just better them. not to create them, I would suggest, my friend. <laughs> probably a better route, but... I mean, he has at least forced a defensive turn out of the chorfs here. Yeah, yeah, he's got hits, but now he can't. He's got to protect the ball as well, and it's not so yeah. easy. But a defensive turn that could also result in there being no nobles left on the pitch. Yeah. However, the first one is a push. Um, he probably felt he had to follow up so he can get the hit on the beast. Yeah. But if this fails, yeah, then he's not getting a hit on the other chaos warrior. Stand firm, so he's yeah. not getting hit. Stand firm, either. so he doesn't get the other assist. I think you've got a bull blitz the warrior at the rear. Yeah, you've yeah. got to always protect your rear. <laughs> always. You don't want things sneaking up behind you. Especially Muppet in electrical. Oh, he's blitzing the front one. Protecting his claw. Uh, but not much, because he could still just claw on somebody anyway. Yeah, if he doesn't arm break it, he could just stand up anyway. Oh. So what are we doing about this... Uh, Beast will no the warrior in our back. I think we're moving one space to the left with the bull and dodging and moving the hobgoblin up into that little cage we've created yeah. and then Yeah, just leave the four plus on. Doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, hoping to one die the other chaos, the other noble warrior away. And then you probably leave the one at the back because it's only mighty blow, it hasn't got claw. You probably just take that hit with the stand firm chore. And just leave the fact that he can four plus hit the ball. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, if you move two squares forward and one to the left with the ball, at least if he four pluses, he's got a two plus, two plus as well. Yep, that's the square. But now you really need this one die to work for at least a push, which it does. I think Noble can safely go at the bottom, J5. 
This is really dodgy though, brings right? the average overall down. If he does this, one, two, three, four, double GFI, pops it, then he's got edge five right there to pick it up. Probably pro elves, J5. Shorter moves, very quick um, animations. <laughs> Yeah, that seems fair. We do have no beast with the Things like that. Hello, Earth of 5 or 3, anything interesting? Yeah, um, on turn 0, a, a, a bull centaur is hit by a rock. But since then, the, <laughs> the Nurgle with Lords of Claw Mighty haven't really done anything. <laughs> while the Chorfs have uh, removed 4 players. Brutal. More deadly than Claw MB. Yeah. Oh, oh, frustration reroll. Re if you're gonna frustration reroll that, you should definitely have dodged double GFI to hit, shouldn't he? I think. If you're gonna commit a reroll to this turn, it shouldn't have been on a mindless claw on blocks. It should have been on getting the ball and winning the game. I think. Although, I mean, I I I agree, uh, Jimmy. But in defence, there, I would say, oh, this is gonna be worse, isn't it? <laughs> Help me sort of has a point in that with the Apothgon, if you can take the other bull out, that is a huge swing in momentum. Yeah, I hate to that, that have yet again five turns down the line. People realise that, oh, hang on a second. No, what you said was shit and wrong and terrible. But the point behind it of taking the bull out is good. And this turn was a good turn to try that because there was no risk. Wrestle. Like that's your target. You're not so strength down at the moment that you can't deal with these little chores. Mm. You're sitting with a shot there. If you can bang that bull out, you're I just don't like very close to being home free. I just but this time you were able to bang it out with less risk to you, Elp. Whereas the time you suggested it, it was going to leave at least two pieces stuck on nasty chores that were going to hit them back. Which he did anyway. Stuck anyway, yeah. Um, but there he didn't have it. to. As me and Jim pointed out, there were two lovely chores that could have been hit entirely safely. Yep. Well, one of them, if you, the one that was standing, where he's still standing, the stand for um, Mighty Blow Piling On guy, if you divert people to that, your backfield's so fucking open, what are you going to do? Um, so I don't think he was like a reasonable target. Could definitely have gone for the loner and then the other guarder. I mean, it was okay blitzing um, him, I just didn't like, I didn't like the frustration reroll, you know? I'm not, I'm not complaining yeah. about the blitz. Uh, J5, if you're, if you're asking about animation speeds and who moves the quickest because of a possible blitz pit entry, the other thing I would suggest is that if you're very worried about the time, uh, bash teams do a lot of hitting, and hitting involves a 15-second timer on the block dice, a 15-second timer on the follow-up. Um, so there's a lot of time you can gain that way in the middle of a turn, just to have a quick couple of seconds of thinking before you start moving again. I can uh, tell I you. Find that very useful. I can tell you, Purple Chess. Johnny Five has absolutely zero interest in using extra time. He just wants the, the team that will take up the least time. <laughs> you know, right, while he's coaching, he doesn't want to be there, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's okay. very proud of his average turn time. Is is J Five? He's very, very mm. fast player. So he even wants to shave it off by first animation. <laughs> Moradam, I have so far looked at exactly two teams for the Blitz Pit qualifiers, uh, and one of the two is Goblins. I am trying desperately hard to make it make sense to me to take Goblins to Blitz Pit. Is the other one Dwarves? No. <laughs> what? what? No, there's two qualifiers. I might go for those in the second, but in the first one I want to do something different anyway, just for fun. What? And I really, really want to take Goblins if I can make it make sense. What? Well, if you take a meme team like that, there's no problem. It doesn't cast any negative light on you, and you can have a laugh. Goblins are not a meme team. Not dwarves. Yeah. Finish should be an instant pick. Serious team. Not dwarves. I hope and expect to surprise some people if I did take goblins, and not just by taking the goblins. Not dwarves. <laughs> no, not, not dwarves, Jimmy. 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 Not this. Look at that Muppet, how fast is Muppet? 51 minutes. Well, I'm pretty certain you're not going to be alone, Moradam. It was 50, I'm upset. It's, uh, I'm up. <laughs> yeah, it probably is. It's probably CCL. 
I, he hasn't played CCL for a while, I, I don't think, and when he played it was longer turn limits, so his opponents were fucking him over by taking longer, so if Muppet's played more in the recent seasons with the shorter things, you know, like, or a higher percentage, whatever. Me too. Right, so this is again still looking fairly rosy for the Chaos Dwarves. They, um, yeah, they're managing to make some progress, the ball's still yeah, safe, I mean, isn't it? Nurgle are pretty much fucked now, aren't they? This is the problem. Yeah, they're total disarray. This actually guy's stuck between his own players. Total disarray, that sounds much better than fuck, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a bit less descriptive, but it's also a tiny bit more safe for work. Yeah, he could, hit, he could hit the ball here, couldn't he? What's this? This is like a 3, 2, 2, 2. 2. 2 dice on the ball. Bosh. That's what he's going for. Which I like. I think that's the right thing to be trying, but oh, blimey, that's one in nine is the first one. <laughs> fairly vicious little one in nine there. And that, that totally kills the, the, the drive now, doesn't it? Now he's totally yeah, safe. Yeah, I think cruise. it does. Yeah, everyone's on the floor. Um, can we stay down? Is there a Fowley Hobgob still on? Yes, there is there a Fowley Hobgob. Yeah, then we can't even stay down. We're going to have to try and still cheer upon me. And there is a, there is a Claw Pommer <laughs> about to get his head kicked in. Yes, absolutely. Crucifer's not going to pass that up, is he? Not a chance. Nor should he. That is absolutely the right thing to do, even if he didn't have the long bench. And he's got a very long bench. <laughs> yep. Gets to claw mighty the... Uh... Thing. No, flies. Doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't get the claw mighty the thing. <laughs> no. He might greet it. He's got a reroll. Yeah, he, he can't get touched next time, can he? But then you don't get to foul. How boring is that, Jimmy? Well, I was thinking if you reroll it, then you could, you know, if you reroll this hit, it's two more assists for the foul. See, that's what I'm thinking. If you, if you, Ooh. if you knock him down. Yeah, always completely safe too. So I like the reroll there. Because you know, having yeah, having the reroll for the next turn doesn't like it only gives you a hit. Doesn't it? Or yeah. Maybe two. Whereas if you if you put in the reroll now, it, it potentially gives you two more assists, and with two more assists, he breaks AV there, and maybe kills him. Yep. I mean, maybe gives you two more assists. Yeah, I'd have done it. I, you know, I, I don't mind hitting in turn eight if I feel it needs doing, and I've got the reroll. But I'm also quite happy to use them up on turn seven and just step over, because yeah. it is so much safer. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just the, uh, the ball was just completely, absolutely safe, so... Yeah. It was on that basis that it was two more assists, potentially two more assists for the foul on his absolute best player, or great player. Yeah. That, that's what's yeah, Which would have been great to remove, because whilst I think Crucifer's going to win this, um, it's it's also about surviving it, isn't it? Yeah. And squeaky bum time for Cruz is, is Apple being gone on turn zero. From that, from that but as you've said, the Claw Mighty just hasn't done much since, has it? It's done nothing, no. But he's going to get the double LOS now, Jonza. The one that, hobgob removed. That rock must have had Claw Mighty blow. Yeah. <laughs> Claw Mighty's a lie. <laughs> Except all the thousands of times it hasn't. Oh, Claw Pummer Edge 5, yeah. I mean, there's there's an argument for the Edge 5, but his main, the, the main thing with the Edge 5 is on defence doing things, isn't it? Whereas the Claw Pummer can just wreck your entire team, so... Yeah, he's already yeah. done his defence, I mean offence, so he doesn't... Yeah, particularly, as you yeah. said, with the you know, six line of scrimmage hits and a couple of blitzes in and up in the next two turns. Getting rid of the Claw Pummer would be huge. Whereas the Edge 5, it's a lovely target, but it's just it's not going to wreck you. Yeah. Hello, Tom Schnitt. Well, that, was, that was well navigated by Chris, wasn't it? A nightmare yeah. start. But he got a he got some really, really moves. solid play all the way through, kept himself as safe as he could. Put a lot of pressure on the other guy in all the right times. Almost faultless. You can tell he's played seventeen thousand games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty-three percent of them with chaos dwarves. <laughs> yeah. I wish you were joking. Ils effectuent l'engagement. Maintenant, il va falloir tenir en défense. I 
because those chaos come back, we don't get a bench to foul with this DP rotter. I think, I think he's still for oh, how many has he got? Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, he's only got eleven players. Max. Yeah, I guess you don't get the foul there, I mean. Especially when these are worthless players. So yeah, absolutely no foul. But maybe maybe a foul in the second half, like if he cases. Doesn't matter if he cases wow. people, doesn't he? He might just foul in the second half. If he if he, if he gets eleven to start he might he might foul second half, but he needs both of these back to foul, I think. He can't, I, yeah, I mean, there's no bench at all, and he's got one roll, which is a one in four to have 11 for the second half. I think he needs to hit, I don't think he can risk the foul, I really don't, Jim, I think you're right. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got, <laughs> Chris has got three reserves, it's, it's insane to yeah. foul. Do you consider it? And at 11, the fuck is he he's doing? got 11 in the second half, it'll depend what Crucifer puts on the line, whether it's worth fouling. Yeah. Oh, I speak they're already on the seven. Okay. I'll let him off, I'll let him off, it was... <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're all up at seven. You can hit with anything that's got mighty blow. It's the yeah. same. Except you can pile on with your piling on piece. Now, this is a KO. I, I think you pile on for yeah. once. Normally, I would never pile on a KO, but you know, with this, this is such bench, a deep bench. KO's not really that useful, is it? No. Yeah. No, KO's not. We probably won't even field that guy next time, really. He won't. No, he's definitely not. It's only affecting like all the time. And is that a is that a babe I see on Crucifer's team? I know. Well then, yeah, even more reason to pile on. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, he's only got one. He's only got one pile on guy, you know. And Claw Mighty oh. is not that good, is it? We've all played Norse before. We know how hard it is to uh, injure Armor Seven. <laughs> Absolutely. Urta 503, if you get a KO and you re-roll into a stun, the stun is the one that lasts. But my point is, as there's a 2 in 3 chance that Hobgoblin comes back anyway, and he's got a really, really long bench, um, I just don't think KOing a Hobgoblin's of any real value to him. And, the, uh, thinking about it this way, right, he's 1-0 down, yeah? Yep. So, for the, and Chris has got three reserves. So the only way that that KO has any impact is if it fails this KO roll now for the second half, then it fails the KO roll after Jones scores on turn 8, and then it fails the KO roll after Cruz has his turn 8 to going in overtime. So it's got to fail three KO rolls for it to have any impact whatsoever. With a baby. Of which it has two-thirds chance of passing and <laughs> yeah. getting onto the field. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's of almost no value. Not inherently zero value, but... Not a long way off. No, it was a 1 in 27 chance of that KO having any impact whatsoever, so he should have absolutely 100 million percent piled on. <laughs> so Cruz is protecting his ball carrier, he's got a niggle, so it's worth keeping him off. Defense, yeah, and just giving him free goblins to hit. Yeah, I didn't know I had a niggle, but even without that, just you know, like keeping him off, don't you? Because there's, uh, there's no reason to risk him, and he's not really I mean, giving you anything more than a rookie is. With plus edge, he could be doing some bullshit. But for all the um, for all the purists that say Nurgle's a bit of a control team, like they they need their removers more than chaos because they're Absolutely. fucked. Yeah. Well, yes, they so. also very slow. Yeah. Well, well yes, they are slower than chaos. Yeah, they're slow. They can't pick up the ball on most of the team. Well, they've got the rotters, of course, but yeah, it's just far. I mean, they've got limitless rotters and pesticles up to four, all of which have AG3. But you're right, they can't really. Pick up. <laughs> yeah, the rotters are so bloody slow as well. They're not like yeah. Chaos. Yeah, chaos. chaos. Like, the Warriors can just pick up and just, you know, you're having a laugh. Yeah. Chaos move 5 is, of course, faster than all of the Chaos Dwarves, which are move 4. But you're right, it's not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, Chaos... Basically, Chaos's plan B is, is really rather good, isn't it? And Nurgle's yeah. plan B is basically non-existent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nurgle plan B I mean, is... I, I, people think that Chaos are... Curse of Fucked in Blood Bowl 3. I don't think so. 
Um, I think Nurgle might have a tougher time, but I think Chaos, people underestimate just how strong strength for Blitz is from every piece on the field is. Yeah. That was a shit um, first block, wasn't it? And again, I know someone that's Some been playtesting the rules, and they've been running a troll rather than a minotaur, and so it completely changes it and makes them much more solid. Why do you activate the beast here? You know, they're tier 2, but very, very competitive. Yeah. Um, you punch to get an assist for your claw pummel because you didn't set up properly yeah. to make proper blocks <laughs> yeah. in an ordered way so that you're yeah, no. your claw pummel is but probably actually blitzing somebody. But if he, not, he's going to pom the, the defenseless guy, isn't he? He did set exactly. it properly, but he quick, snapped, he quick snapped in Nesto. It's uh, another one of those times where, you know, the quick snap did not help him. Oh, that's a shocking blitz as well, isn't it? Yeah. Again, why are we trying to hit hobgoblins when they just don't matter in this game at the moment? There's so many hobgoblins oh, on the pitch. I mean, I love hitting hobgobs, but at the moment, if you chip a, tw a chorf or two, huge change in momentum. Yeah. Just stop you right there. You know, Sonya is dead at this point. Let's see the momentum shift. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, you know, like, but they surely you take the board down so you can pile on him with impunity. You've got jump up. Like, that's just crazy to me to, to take yeah. the power there. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Well, the animation's it's, better, isn't it? If you follow, if you follow <laughs> up and piled on, you're right under that, that dirty player. So it, it, you couldn't follow up. Yeah. Ah, perfect. <laughs> He's got a nice ball carry, is it? He does. But now? No, but this, he's just giving them the bull hit, isn't he, right now? I mean, uh, he's probably not going to take it, but he's just giving him the bull hit. Okay, now he's now he's rectified that. Has he a, a... I mean, if you really wanted to hit it, a bull centaur still can, and it's not hard to cancel the assist. Yeah. But I... You know, it would be a one die. I don't think it's worth doing. I also don't think Christopher feels it's going to be that urgent no. to beat this chap. He's one of the boys to do his uh, defend now. And yeah. I think he can defend pretty well. Yeah. I mean, you've got to defend against it, though, haven't you, as the uh, as the no -go. Yes, you do. Yeah. But yeah, Chris will be very, very confident he's going to win, I think. But uh, he won't be super happy because obviously that 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 apple is gone and he, he can potentially get claw pommed seven more times in this game and maybe even more it could go over time still yeah he's sort of stuck in a one game isn't he that could ruin his future games say potentially jim you've watched the same first half i have do you really think this guy's going to claw pom him seven times <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genuine question i i i mean you've heard me say many times that i don't think you should automatically claw pom just because you've got claw pom yeah. But you should more than this chap. Yeah, so. um, the bull was injured. Like this, that's likely to be decided, you know, as a gunfight, isn't it? Yes, the bull was injured in Arian, but the apple worked. Um, because it was on the kickoff, he stayed in the he stayed in the injury box. But that is just a visual bug when you apple a rocked injury. So there you go. I loaded in after that, and hence, of course, he was on the sideline for me. Yep, same. Mm. I think it's because you backed up Jim to catch it again. Uh, it's happened to me before, so it, it must it must be when it's live, because yeah, it uh, be. it's 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 literally happened to me before, like in game. <laughs> this Claw Mighty has been better than Claw Pom, hasn't it? Pretty much. There you go. There's another one. Another one. Another one. Back. <laughs> Niggled, no regen, but I guess regen. We care if he can't score. Oh, God, this is brutal. This hobgoblin could also get an injury. This team's wrecked now. That's two warriors that aren't available next game. Yeah. Range yeah, this game. Look at this. There's, there's no fucking defense, right? Yeah, there won't. There won't be a next game. But if there were. <laughs> When you uh, when you have a very limited defence, you usually find that there's quite a few equity swings, and I think that's what we're seeing here. Is uh, you know the defence has been lost, it's been penetrated. We don't know what's going on with the uh, with the Nurgle here, you know, and uh, the equity swung in uh, Christopher's favour, but it just do be like that sometimes. And so it should really. The equity absolutely deserved to go in Christopher's favour. You take that bull hit on the uh, thing, that's negative equity on the way. You just look exactly. at the balance, and it has so. Amazing here for Christopher. Yeah.
and eventually, you know, if, if he's lucky, you know, we'll uh, we'll see we'll see John's the equity will balance itself out and we'll see it return to a neutral state, possibly. <laughs> I no, you should see that before the end of the game, because as we as as they were speaking about with the the amount of piling on claw stuff that's going to be happening, the equity is going to neutralise, but Bruce is going to walk away with the win. Someone exactly. that listens to all the twats in the eighties using those words all the time. Do we have to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Um, yeah, to be fair, and uh, to five or three, I was cautious with piling on. Um, but I thought it was appropriate in my game to be cautious with panning on, and I think it was inappropriate for uh, Jonza to be cautious with panning on in this game. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's almost like there isn't just one rule for every single situation, um, which if is a wanna, shame. Make it much simpler. If you want to see a game with Pile on, you should go watch Rick's game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There were some times where I think it, Rick shouldn't have piled on either. <laughs> yeah, quite a, yeah, me too. Quite a few. But it worked. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. It's no, sure I is. won't give in until I'm That's victorious. That's the way dice games work, right? They like to show you defend. up. <laughs> I will defend. <laughs> well, it's, it's the problem with the things that have variants in them. It's just because you're right doesn't mean it'll work. Yes, and just because it works doesn't mean you're right. Doesn't mean it's right, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I have... Fails, a, I have oh, what's this? I have, I have something special coming through my comms earpiece here in the casting booth. <laughs> we have a tier two for 44 <laughs> months. From oh, Mr. Murham, 88 moth pregnancies. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 11 oh, fantastic. Cool beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much, Moreham. <laughs> we also have a tweet from Anarian saying the bull will be sacked next turn. We wonder how he's got that knowledge. <laughs> um, I think Inarian hasn't played enough Chaos Dwarves. The ball will not be sacked next turn. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure the ball will still be there. Yeah. Maybe based. But... What? What? Why? Uh, I mean, Crusher is well known for being a ball sack. Sacker, <laughs> sorry. Is that rotter just running away? Is it just he's tired of to... yeah. by this fan? I think he's trying to be a score for it. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> if, he, if he completed both GFIs, he was a score for it, and then we had two score for it on each side. Yeah. I think he oh, was off for a piss muppet. I think I... Well, that too. I mean, if he'd powered, if he'd powered, yes, he could have got the wrestler in, and he could have run around and 2D the ball, but there's just no need to. There's, there's just yeah. no need to, is there? This is the thing. Yeah, there's no need to. I mean, realistically, what is Joms' plan here? Is he going to try and run it down the left line here, pass it off to the goat, and then run it down? But yes, like I, I think it's just a bit premature having the uh, having the Agi the Agi Fagor up that that early. But that's that's just my opinion with it. I'm not an excellent player. I think player. he goes for a score next turn. Yeah, but he with the sort of... Agi piece placed there and tries to get his one KO back. Yeah, so of course, which is why the ball's taking. Down. Yeah, exactly, pushing yeah. it out of range even if he doesn't knock it down. Because the ball is fairly well protected, but it's how he moves it forward from this position. I don't think he's going to be able to score with it anytime soon, to be honest. Despite hating that rotter just wandering off, because rotters are reasonably slow and aren't particularly good at, at anything. Um, I do think he was trying to develop another scoring threat that side, which wouldn't have convinced anyone, but technically would have existed. Yeah. No. If I was Chris Aldridge, just ignored it. Be like, sure, if he scores, you get. So now he's tempted here, isn't he? He's, he's tempting him in to put the bull in here to punch um, the uh, the warrior into a claw mighty and an additional claw mighty hit. Will Cruz be a grade A banger and take that, or will he uh, think about what he wants the bull to be and not do that? It's the question, isn't it? I mean, you give somebody the option of a claw mighty, and I think the option is always yes. <laughs> it yeah, may first well action, be. you just don't even do anything else. The immediate decisive clicks get gets removals, so but you need to be doing that. You need somebody in to to do make this hit, doesn't he? And so you can bring in the ball with the bonus of maybe getting this hit, or you could bring him in, or you could just not make it and move the other. You know, so he has got a lot of options here, even though it doesn't look like it. This is face the beast like a mad lad. <laughs> um. If I'm him, I would be slightly worried about me exposing the bull. Uh, the rot, the beast of Nurgle can uh, hit the non-stand firm chorf in front of it to the left. Uh, 
thus providing the assist for the Claw Mighty hit on the other one. And then oh! The one back can hit the bull, and then he can still hand off to the AG and potato with it, maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I think just, that's one. Just this one dice. So that's it. why if I was Cruise, I'd have moved that bull across, is to just, mm. you know, next turn I've got some cover for all of that, if that goes down. He did that, and he did the one oh, which is pretty down disgusting, down isn't it? Yeah. yeah. To be fair, he's got yeah. one uh, It was only a one. Bad. To be honest, that though, he could have brought. He, that was pretty greedy. He could have brought that guy in and made that a tour, you know. But he, that was pretty greedy doing the one. But now that the play with the beast fun. makes sense. Yep, he's just going straight for it as well, Johnson. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. called it PC. Well done. That's the right hit. Fantastic PC. That's why we've got you in the booth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The betting and the predictions are going wild. PC's got the inside knowledge. He's got the scoop. <laughs> the equity is shifted. Money is exchanging hands. <laughs> He's got the power. <laughs> he did need that power essentially, didn't he? Because he wants to go. Does, does that make a big? Does that make a big? The fact that they're both stunned is that big here? No, it's completely right. It gives him another turn. Does it not give him another turn if he wants to try and pull the edge goat back? No, because no. he's, he's, he's not really. Oh, he hasn't blitzed. Can't pull out at this point. He hasn't blitzed. Oh, he hasn't, hasn't blitzed. blitzed. That was not a... Oh, he's blitzing with the agility. What the... Oh, that's okay, terrible. that's... What a god-tier player. This is an amazing play out of nowhere. He's got tackle and even one doesn't, I guess. Yeah, but you just needed to push Oh, well, that was, that'll to solve it. And it was a GFI to blitz, so... Yeah, it was a GFI to blitz, but it meant you were hitting with Claw Mighty Blow, and I've, I've heard that's quite good. Same. I guess he wasn't in range anyway, right? So it, oh, and didn't have tackle as well, and it was a blodge piece. So okay, he hit it with a tackle because it was blodged. I, yeah. I guess that makes some more sense. And he couldn't yeah. score anyway, so yeah, actually. No, he couldn't score anyway. Yeah. So he's trying to create a safe hole, isn't he? Uh, yeah. But and he sort was, of done I it. I was tricked by PC's plan. Uh, I thought he could score, but yeah, with him not being able to score, I didn't like going for the handoff this time. Yeah. No, and what? actually now the stuns are mildly relevant. Um, yeah. Then, I mean, they're not really, but... This ball can just dodge out anyway, so... Well, this no, is what I'm thinking. presumably we put the ball carrier just in front of it, where the dodge out is a uh, four yeah. for a single die. It goes for the double GFI. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like that. Now, the problem is with this is the other ball can get around the front, and then it is just a four plus uh, with dodge. So that's a one in four fail to get two die on it. Mm -hmm. And but if you fail that, it scores. Um, but then it scores on turn 12, so who cares? You've still got plenty of time to win. Yeah, he might not even go for it, might he? might just make sure that he, he can't stall another turn. Yeah, he might just settle for neutralising some of the claw pieces, for example. Yeah. And protecting his team that way. And as you said, just let him score, knowing that you can, you know, winning is still easy from here at 1 1 with. Five turns left. Yeah, they did, Ducky. Yeah, they did. I mean, he was down lots of players, wasn't he? The Nurgle. This is a good, 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 uh, good few turns by the Nurgle here to get this. Yeah, yeah. This move down the left has been pretty positive. He does uh, have a pass off to Rotter next turn. Coach. Dirty player, Rotter. I've got to say that because it's more or less the plan I came up with. <laughs> no such things as safe old PC. A married man should know that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I bet he wishes at this point the other bull didn't have Agi Plus and had a break tackle. Would have been a much better ball sack. Yeah, exactly. I kind of hate plus Agi on, on balls. I, I, was, I was looking at it and I thought, yeah, it's great for picking up the ball. And if you, you kind of need a ball carrier on chaffs, right? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm no expert on chaffs. I'm shit at blood ball. <laughs> but looking at it. It's great in some situations, but in situations like this where it can be abused, like uh, BT just seems much better. <laughs> if you don't have an agility three bull, you can never have an agility four bull. Like my, That's you know, so true. Dwarves do. That's true. Uh, which is still not an optimal use of skills on a bull. Don't get me wrong, but it's fun. It's a fun piece. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like these, when you. Any of these other skills could have also been break tackle. And... Yeah. So well, it's like calling, it's not what you're calling for a reach around from the uh, the guard bull. Yeah, can he do that? Standing. Yeah, um, yeah, he yeah. can. Oh, I think it's nine, just, don't forget. Yeah, I think it's better just putting its guard there and then you know do the the one in four fail with the other bull. Yeah. yeah. 
instead of standing it up on a claw piece. Well, he's just going to go for it. No, he's going to But then he used strength four on a strength three, so no, he's hitting the agility this time. No. Oh. Yeah. He is just going to let him score. Jim's right. Yeah. Is that the correct move? Then follow that up because otherwise you're giving him a hit on the bull with the claw. And the guard can come in the back. I mean, it's, it's what I thought he'd do. Uh, yeah. And four, defending four, both so. bulls with the guard piece. It's it's a nice shape from Crucifer. Because he doesn't have to be more... He doesn't have to try harder than that, does he, right now? He just yeah. has to stop the stall. Yeah. Yeah, if he's, if he's got five turns to score here he, with three rerolls, he's he's going to back himself he's to do that. Fine. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Particularly with a plus agility bull that can be handed off the ball on a one in nine fail. <laughs> hey, just, yeah, he's... Be careful doing the reach around on a bull. <laughs> I mean, I assume Recruiter just passes it off to a bull canoe and just sends it down the pitch. Oh, the after he uh, forces him to score. Yeah. Fucking That's true, splendid uh, when, I, when I play Chaos Dwarves, uh, even if I have an agility four bull, it doesn't always carry. It's, but it's, it's good for sweeping um, on defense. Yeah. So it picks up after the, the it or the other bull sacks on defense. Um, and then there are some teams where carrying on the bull or being able to hand off to the bull is a really good option. He blitzed there. No, if know. he's scoring, he, he should he be... Blitzed. He blitzed with Claw Mighty when he could have blitzed with Claw Palm. Yeah. But he just scored I mean, him, so what do you know? The score plan <laughs> and the move down the side was all very good, but again, it's it's he's not making the best of the skills that he's got on the pitch. He also had jump up, he could have just jumped up. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if he could have got the assist, but he, you know, he at least yeah. blitz with him, so, you know, make him strength four and get the two D. Like it's yeah. crazy, it's crazy to blitz with a claw mate instead of claw palm, isn't it? I mean, when you're in the Thunderdome, the stress does get to you. That's true. Yeah, Playoff, so it, it, it do be like that. Did you find that, Fulfus? Hmm? What did I find? Did you find that the pressure got to you? Was that? Do you know what? It, it sometimes does, you know. I can't say I was in the chalice, but when I was playing SFL for two seasons, I hadn't won a single game. Every match could have been that golden moment. And every match, I thought, do you know what? I could have pushed myself, and it could have been better at Blood Bowl, and I could have won. And it was so close, and I won one game, and it was a fucking dicing. And it was absolutely lovely, right? But Blood Bowl, when you're shit at Blood Bowl, it's always exciting in the Thunderdome. There's never a dull moment. Who did you beat in SF? I can attest to that. I can't remember who I beat, but I fucking diced them and they were really upset. <laughs> like, really, really upset. It was like, <laughs> I murdered a couple of pieces on turn one. As dwarves. After losing, like, every match for two seasons. <laughs> they were they coming into this match like, easy win. I got this. Yeah. Well, the, the aim with that dwarf team was I didn't care what happened. I was going to foul every single turn and hit everything I could with guard on every piece. Oh, man. Life was good. <sighs> Fucking hell, a lovely bit of full force here. But this, is, this isn't about me. This is about the two lovely, lovely people. You got a little bit of Cruster and Jonas. Like Jonas just battling down the fucking Thunderdome, and it's 1 1. We're excited. <laughs> We're excited to see what's happening here. It's an excellent game of Blood Bowl. Yep. You need to add a bit of reverb to your mic. Do I? <laughs> yeah, get that Maybe. real commentator fucking thing going. A touch we don't reverb. need another hero. <laughs> That's a banger of a tune. Showing your age there a little bit, but it's a banger all the same. The old boomer banger. The thing is, when they make music, they don't delete it. They, they then play it. <laughs> subsequent years as well. Oh, oh, yeah. It's not ephemeral, it is permanent. Fancy a little bit of Phil Collins now, stuff like that, a little bit of George Michael, maybe a little bit of Buble. I've even heard some Mozart, and I definitely wasn't alive when he was composing. Oh, there you go. Are you sure? <laughs> just afterwards, Jimmy, just afterwards, but... <laughs> Caught the tail end of Bark. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, that was bad, wasn't it? Wasn't that bad from Cruz? I mean, he's played 42 million games, and he put that fucking hobble there to just get claw mighty randomly. Yeah, yeah that, that's a strange square to pick. He's done I it mean, to both of his hobbles. This is, done on is it because he doesn't mind his hobgobs dying, and he knows he's going to win, 
So he just wants to keep the good pieces safe. Do you think that's what he's doing? Yeah, maybe, but I mean, he's got he's got someone else who can glitch with claw mate, so it must be to keep them in place, right? And maybe get them wrestled down. So that, you know, he's the strong boys, aren't they? And he's got he's only got four more turns to score, so I guess he's thinking keeps them tied up on hobbles. Uh, it also removes their claw, doesn't it? Uh, it does. And yeah, if they won in nine, then they're totally out of the game, then aren't they? They're out of the drive, basically, if they won in nine almost. Yeah, so he did that on it. purpose. That's weird, isn't it? I'm surprised. The beast is As you said, own. still another claw mighty and a claw pom. Um, available for his use. So he hasn't he hasn't neutralized the claw, you're right, Jim. It's odd. <laughs> if if those are the only two claw on the team, then sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's been on the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he's wanted Julius Caesar's advisor, but there, look, it got a reroll. It sucked a reroll off. Genius by Cruz. <laughs> I mean, how else do you, uh, how else do you tolerate Blood Bowl? That's what vodka's for, right? Jim does get a... with a good vodka. Yeah, suck off of reloads. <laughs> Mate, do you know what? Jim loves a good vodka, water, and lime juice. Do you find that, Jim? Con. We had to put him in a high vis so we didn't lose him. <laughs> vodka and lime. That's my mother's favourite drink. <laughs> sure, it. I mean, personally, I drink whiskey, but you know. Oh, what a man! Vodka's nice too. What a man! Oh wow! Yeah. But you drink single, single <laughs> malt, don't you? Oh, it does seem like a single malter. It does absolutely. But you were very quiet. I thought you were accusing me of drinking semen. No, that's definitely not something I've done. <laughs> um, but no, I. I I'm not allowed to drink single malts. Not even back in the not. 80s, no? <laughs> because it's uh, not even back of then. Um, uh, it's not being of the vocal cords, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, uh, semenology was all the craze back in the 80s. I imagine you drink semen. Semenology. <laughs> I can't be mean to I can't be mean to PC, he's a lovely guy. Oh, PC is great. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, PC, I can't, I can't beam on you. This isn't this isn't fair. Oh. I I don't mind. Oh, oh. I take the piss and I'm happy to have the piss taken. I feel that's the only way that one can, you know. I see, take the piss I see. if you don't mind it taken back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. it's better I'd to really take offense. Better to have the piss taken than me pissed on. That's just my motto. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it do be like that. <laughs> Plus, my sense of self is not bound up in how people in the world of Blood Bowl feel about me. Imagine believing. Do, for a do you mean Blood Bowl Two, or Imagine are you including Fumble? No, I mean the whole world of Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl Two, Fumble, Tabletop. Imagine believing for a moment that Fall Force doesn't like being pissed on. <laughs> <laughs> You know, what what happens in the privacy of the dungeon stays in the dungeon. Worth noting, the dungeon is not the Thunderdome. They're two separate places. They are. Speaking of the Thunderdome, though, what the fuck is happening? Well, I don't care. So it's a bit odd. Cruz has not got as rowdy on this drive as I thought he would. I think he's trying to just limit the hits and score in 16, isn't he? That's He doesn't want to face another line of scrimmage, is my answer here. Yes. It's all about the missing Apoth. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> so, Fort Force, do you prefer being the pisser or the pissy? I'm impartial, mate. I'm impartial. I don't mind. I love a bit of both. Sometimes you give, sometimes you receive. You know, it's the way it works. <laughs> I've never Life it. I've always the power wanted switch. to ask: Is it just? Do you just like it like all over you, or is it specifically like in the mouth or something? I mean, is there that, a... sometimes you know what? Sometimes I like the asparagus smell. I specifically ask them to eat asparagus beforehand, but it, okay. it really depends. You know, I'm I'm not picky realistically. Sometimes in the mouth, sometimes over the chest. You know, sometimes I like them to grab me by the hair, pin me down to the uh, the floor on the tarp. Obviously, you got to put a tarp down, right? Unless you got wooden flooring, and uh, just put you know, just do it. It's just the way it works. <laughs> So you prefer to use 700 grams of You say, Paris. yes, nanny, I have been bad. Exactly. And they're like to be spanked. But hey. <laughs> Coincidentally, by around people around your age, PC, I'm not into uh, people of my generation. I like them a little bit older. They're usually a bit more mature and have uh, more mature smelling urine. You know, that's the way it works. <laughs> and single malt. Yeah. Like, like a single malt of urine. 
Jimmy, Jimmy, I think I'm being blurted with and I'm I'm concerned. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this is the internet grooming, isn't it? I'm... This this uh, this probably can't go on YouTube now, can it? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really gonna struggle to not die here. Oh fucking god. <laughs> This is definitely not going on YouTube. <laughs> I said the C not word, so I don't see why it can't go on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not sure they have a policy that says you can do whatever you want as long as you don't say see you next Tuesday. <laughs> you, have it as, you can do whatever checked. you want as long as you don't get reported. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that's how they'd word it. I mean, if you don't get caught, you'll be fine. Lines. Go oh fuck yourself. God. It's, it's pretty much what they say, actually. It's just not hateful slurs, which they put, they put see you next Tuesday online with two ones that are very bad, and it's just I know. bizarre. Hey, just ignore it. Just put this one on your OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans special, after hours. It's 10 o'clock, right? It's watershed. <laughs> Isn't that... Well, it is watershed, yeah. Isn't that where Jim gets naked, though, OnlyFans? I thought that's what that was. For. It's where he puts his toes. <laughs> yeah, the toe pictures. Yeah. I mean, he's only got seven, you know, so it's a little bit... You, you pay less because it's a little bit lacklustre, but, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. 30% right. discount. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy. Right. Oh, shit, sorry. Blood Bowl's happening, and there's only three turns... Four, five turns left. Yeah, it's yeah, not really count. happening. Crucifer's, I mean, that's what Crucifer's doing, is he's trying very hard to make sure Blood Bowl doesn't happen for those turns. Yeah. Um, I mean, what happens if they draw? Uh, it goes to something called overtime. <gasps> What's this overtime? I'm shit at Blood Bowl. Explain. Look at this chain here. It's nice chain. He might not do it now. Yep, he's going to do it still. Yep. Is it better for him to go to overtime? No. <laughs> no. Without apothecary, definitely not. Yeah, that was lovely pushing the... I mean, it's only a stand from Chorf, but it does mean he can knock over another claw piece. Yep. Um, once again, the claw piece out on the left-hand side of Crucifer's attack <coughs> with a wrestle hobgob, trying to just remove that chance that his good pieces get taken out for the next game, I think. And that's still yeah. very much what he's after. Oh, God. So over time, basically, anyone in the chat that genuinely doesn't know, uh, if this is a draw at the end of regular time, we'll go to overtime. There'll be a new kickoff, a new uh, coin toss to decide who gets to receive the ball. Uh, and then it's up to eight turns, and whoever scores first, the game is instantly over when that touchdown is scored. Uh, hey, if it's still a draw at the end works. of overtime, we go to kicks, where it is a single d6 rolled against each other, but you get to add your remaining rerolls. Ah. Hey, do you reckon in 2020 you can use all your rerolls on one kick? That's, I know that's uh, what happens 20, anyway. 20, but... There is no kicks at the yeah. end of the game. It's just. Uh, you really? roll three d6s, weirdly, no. and whoever wins the most of those three against the other three wins the game. But yeah. there is no re-rolls counting for. Yeah. It's not as fun. You just roll right. extra dice pointlessly. Yes. <laughs> you do be you, like that. If you didn't roll enough during the game, you need to roll more dice. Yeah, you could just roll off, but instead you roll five times, don't you? I believe is it five? five yeah. yeah, yeah, you might be right, yeah. Like, like a penalty shootout in football, right? There's, there's five penalties. So you roll off five times. And whoever wins the most um, wins the game, rather than just rolling off, you know. Yep. Or I mean, I, you know, I quite like if I had to pick one. There's no ideal answer, is there? Um, but I, I've never hated that whoever receives in overtime loses if it's a draw at the end. I think there's some balance to that that I don't hate. The thing with that is, like, nothing in Blood Bowl is automatic, so. No. Um, I prefer yeah. my idea, which was just give the the person who loses the toss, give them like one or two re rolls, whatever. Okay, yeah, I could see that to balance it, yeah. Yeah, and then so then that's giving you it's giving you a better chance to stop it as well to make up for the fact you've just lost the toss. And then obviously, if you do stop it, it's giving you the bonus to the roll off. So, yeah. yeah, no, I like that too. I mean, I just think I, the answer that Blood Bowl Twenty Twenty's come up with is even worse than what we've got now, frankly. Oh yeah, undoubtedly. <laughs> so we've been meaning to ask this for a while. I have asked it a couple of times, but is Blood Bowl weighted towards sixes being more prevalent on a normal die? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say this at me? Because it's, it's a like genuine, genuine question. question. Yeah, it is like proper board games. 
proper board games are rated towards six as being more common. What? If you look at a standard... He's right, yeah. Die, they, board games that are properly developed will account for the fact that sixes happen more often than any other. What? Because because of the dots and the dice, they happen more often. They don't, though. Chess dice, they happen they less do. often. No, there's, if you look at the how physics works, the heavier thing goes to the bottom. No, the one has totally less wrong. material removed than the six, that's totally making the one wrong. side the heaviest. Hence, that's casino dice that are completely totally perfectly wrong. That is not wrong at all, Jim. I hate to tell you on your own stream, mate, that is not wrong. It's totally wrong, yeah. It is not. It's totally wrong, yeah. Well, tell you what, let's put it to a poll in the chat. As we have let's two excellent that, mods yeah. in here. Why don't we just um, Google it? You can Google it, you can Google it. No, no uh, I'll tell you what, decide. what happens with Chessex dice is they're completely, they're, they're nothing like squares. It, you may be right if they were cubes, but they're not. And what, what they do is they shave off the uh, corners of the dice to save materials, because by doing that they can make more dice and save more materials and make more money. And so the Chessex dice, which is pretty much every dice in the world that isn't casino dice, are horribly, horribly balanced and in general roll more ones than anything else. So there so you go. what you're saying is Chessex are basically like Brexit. <laughs> yeah, if you want. <laughs> That was a nice hit on the ball there, wasn't it? That was pretty easy for him to get the hit there. Um, I believe the technical term is ball sack. Yep. Nice yeah, I, I, he I, mean, I, I know Crucifer's trying really hard to make sure he doesn't get his good pieces hit, but he does still have to win the game, and I yeah. I don't it, see where that focus has been. His ball had one extra movement after it blitzed. It could have like pinned, it in, pinned that piece in uh, between that and the elbow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just all a little bit casual. Yes. It's probably still going to work out okay, but... Yeah, especially after knocking the beast down. Now the beast is out of the yeah, tent. Yeah, that was huge, yeah. But if that had failed, yeah, one in nine there would have been interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, now he's got the bull hits. He's got a wrestle blitz, probably, to clear that guy. Like the wrestler hitting his claw bomber here. But which direction do you hit it? Up. Like hit him from down. So like go one, two, three, hit him, four. And then you can go five, six and, and bracket him. Well, punches usually happen on a horizontal line. Logically rather than vertically. So if you punch them, usually they're going to fall backwards towards the ground <laughs> on a vertical axis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm I'm a ball expert though. Just, just putting that out there. Oh god. Would I'm you ever lost. skip block on your pommer? No to me. I mean I'll take it last, but I would never just skip block. Oh he hasn't he hasn't got block on his pommer. <laughs> He's got tackle instead of block. What a lunatic. <laughs> now do you hit it with a wrestler or do you just hit it with his okay, <laughs> I think I still would because it, it, it if you power him it lets you move the okay. Oh, the block is alone as well. Yeah. Because this is using a square of movement, so I didn't really like doing it with him. But he, yeah. he, he, he got the stun, so it's fine. We was... Oh, no, it's not. He's going to GFI. Well, he had yeah. to get off the beast, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, so that was... Yeah, even with that, it was terrible. Mm. And now he's still out of range. Like, I know the blocker's a loner. I think you still hit it with the blocker. Yeah, I think I think you just... I, th I still like blitzing with wrestle. You've just got to get him down. All you have to do is get him down. And then you can yeah. go 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI potentially. Like, I didn't like that. Stopping the dodge round with the hobgoblin. He has stopped out of range, so now it's a handoff to a bull, or we face overtime. Unbelievable, yeah. Hopefully we see overtime so I can see how this fucking mechanic works when we move over to 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Just totally miss out on it. It's FOMO, isn't it? Fear of missing it. Fault course, that mechanic is no longer Polish and doesn't work. So. Oh, there you go. Hopefully Blood Bowl 3 should be good. Um, there's nothing much to see. There's just another coin toss, and then there's another drive. Yeah, but it's the magic of it, isn't it? You see the, you know, you see yeah. the little bits on the side go up. 
it's magical. But Definitely more of it's just for this stupid balanced oh, dice question. So what's one if you to... think that GW considered anything when designed Blood Bowl, let alone whether a die is balanced, you're delusional. <laughs> Absolutely, Moradam. Yep, couldn't agree more. And uh, if you, if there's look, there's a there's a scientific analysis of dice there. If you want to read that, very interesting. I mean, Jimmy, it's from recycled dacadaca.com. I don't know how much I trust that. I only trust uh, I only trust stock of addresses. I'm sorry, my friend. Uh, I trust it more than you and Al. <laughs> oh. Ducky, I'm not entirely certain I would agree with that summation of the game, um, but I don't necessarily want to talk about that on stream. Um, wow, so he has got the beast on the ball. That's still looking pretty good from the Nurgle point of view. He's, uh, he's managed to resist this seemingly irresistible Crucifer five-turn drive, I think, really quite well. Yeah, yeah, I think Cruce maybe was overconfident and over safe. And like, yep. not, safe not safe as in safe with the ball, it's safe with his players, wasn't he? I, I think it's, again, back down to that missing apothecary, Jim. I think yeah. that's that's what I keep coming back to. Is I think that's why we've seen what we've seen. Yeah, yeah. That's and fair. I still think Crucible will get this done, but it just makes it a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Mm. No, he has to power this beast now. He does. He does. Yeah. So is he going to have to blitz with the with the break tackle bottle? Yeah, break tackle bottle. Yeah, break tackle bull, I guess, and then hand off to the wrestle hobble. Can the wrestle hobo pass it down? Sorry, can the can the wrestle hobo reach the touchdown line? Yes. Or is yeah. it too short? And then yeah. just I I just personally here I just either try and blitz with the ball onto the uh, onto the beast or just try and dodge hand off and go. Yeah, you got a reroll. He's got tentacles, so you've really got to try yeah, and. You know, yeah, the dodges. I mean, it's sometimes possible, you've got to roll those weighted good. dice. <laughs> So, so your article shows that the dice are rated towards the ones instead of the sixes. Yes. It was. So it's blood bowl balance for that anomaly. I mean, I, I, I don't. I mean, I thought Seabor was a lovely guy and a great coach, but I personally, I felt one of the things there was that he was too frightened of the dwarves. Yeah. Um, I think that was to me the major factor in that game. Well, yeah, like my dad, like it was just more about the like proper board gaming. They balance around this. I mean, you're right, um, Claude didn't fire very much in the first half, but it also he, he didn't try as much with his well, nasty pieces. Oh! Is he going to toss it? Is he going to toss it? No, it, it, so two, if he gets there, two go for it, he can hand off. Okay, yeah, so he's just uh, blocking this. Uh, but actually, like the, if he, actually this yes, the, the throw chance. is better, isn't it? Oh, it's it's two this one gives him one oh, chance. Though. Oh, lovely. Now, it is a, he's got to dodge off, and then it is a single 2+, plus because he can get out of the range of Stink. Gets out the tentacles. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, he does the dodge the tentacles. Oh, you oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you really do. 2+, plus throw, 3+, plus catch. And he love to fails see it. We are going to overtime. Mm, Volt okay. Force, you can take your trousers down and get your uh, hand cream out. Oh, look at that. How does this work? Overtime. Cool. <laughs> this is magical. Cool. <laughs> No, the Ross gets that. Is that an overtime thing where the Ross just gets up? Oh, look at that! Look at that! The Hobgoblin got up as well. It's magical. Now, you're going to see, you might have to take your, shot, your shoes and socks off for this, but we're now up to a number of 17. Second coin toss. 17! <laughs> look at that. I've never seen so many turns. The number really dreamed of in the world of Blood Bowl. Okay, so just to clarify, because obviously I'm shit at Blood Bowl here. So, the first person to get a touchdown wins. If not, then it goes to these kick things, you say, yes? That's that's what I've heard to be the case, yeah. Okay, hopefully, they're both shit at Blood Bowl, and then nothing happens, so we can see kicks. Unfortunately, one isn't shit at Blood Bowl. Uh, the other one I'm not so certain about. He's done some good stuff and some less great stuff. Hopefully, yeah. he gets dice, then, so we can see kicks. I've never seen awesome. kicks. It's a fucking magical day. I think what you really, well, I mean, Crucifer was in a great position, wasn't he? he had was. all the pieces, had loads of turns, had three rerolls to zero, and suddenly so much of that has disappeared. Blood Bowl do be like that, it's a cruel mistress. Oh, yeah. Another thing for us, the rerolls carry over, so we don't get more rerolls. Oh, you don't one. get more rerolls? No, no new set of rerolls. <laughs> Even if you've got a leader, you don't get a new leader reroll. Wow. 
Is that like that in the board game, or is that just an oversight from the lazy French developers? <laughs> Who could possibly say? <laughs> wow. Now you said all French are lazy, or the people at Cyanide, because one's racist and the other's factual. <laughs> I mean, we should really stop calling them French. That humanises... I can't talk about this. This is bad. No, no yeah, don't. Don't, don't, don't. don't. Please, no. S is in the chat, please. No, S in we, the chat. We, we, we can make plim plom plu jokes, don't, but uh, no, the French no, are no, lovely no. people, even if they do like surrendering. <laughs> and we're lucky to have them as uh, as partners, you know. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't. If you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. Yeah. And if you well, are French dig... in the chat, hello. <laughs> at least dig sideways and not further down. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Dimmy <laughs> has lived in France. Yeah. Has he? Yeah. <laughs> For a week or something on holiday. A week. <laughs> <laughs> School exchange trip. <laughs> oh, now there's lovely. There's some balance. Oh, oh. oh so I Bruce don't like the way the secretary is going. Completely cocking up a very easy five turn drive. Also won the uh, the toss and got the ball in overtime uh, because he got the blitz. God, blitz! That's a massive now, go shift. <laughs> don't often see. And normally like here. This. I would expect Crucifer to pop the guard in there where he has to hit the hobgoblin and then to go for it with the plus agility bull. Is he going to do that without the apple? I think he is. I think he's got it. He's got it. He's like he's probably. He's you know, I think he knows how to shift gears, right? So I think he's he's tried. Yeah. He's tried to win it painlessly. Now he's got it. He knows he's got to win at all costs. So yeah, he's just tried to get yeah. to. He's going into gear three here, definitely. Oh. No. Wow. Got a base on the floor. He runs base. the ball up. Of the things base. I was expecting, that wasn't on the list. No, it wasn't. Um, I'm a little confused by it. Yeah. Not as confused as I am by trying to pick up on the strength of four rather than the plus agility piece. But I guess he wants that as a handoff option to, yeah. to break forwards and then bring the strength of four to it. Exactly, and he's got a short hand, so it's an eight out of nine pick up instead of a five out of six. And he's yeah. strength four, so it means it's a one D from a ball instead of just an instant two D, isn't it? So two very good points, Jim. And I had forgotten that he's completely out of rerolls. So yeah. Cool. Right. What an interesting situation. This is the cruel aspect of Blood Bowl, isn't it? Giving you the hope. <laughs> or John's a bit he, free. Oh, he's, he can't free now. He could have freed That's him it. up, right? He could have freed up that warrior. Like, this is. Yeah. I don't want to say it's terrible. No, he can't. But, yeah, That's no, terrible. This is uh, giving me. He is guard locked with all those chaffs up on the line of scrimmage now, but there were roots to free pieces, and he decided right to look. Yeah, that, that was the guy who could have been freed. He could have hit directly forward with the beast, could have made this block that he's just made. That would have freed this, this Snoke warrior. Then the Adj5 comes in here, Warrior can blitz, or he could blitz actually because he's got tackles. So the Warrior could have come in here, he could have blitzed him, and he, he would have had things going for him then, wouldn't he? It was even possible to free the beast as well if he really wanted to. Yeah. Um. Give me flashbacks, had a game versus Jimmy, fantastic, and uh, we went into overtime, and uh, I got, won the kick, I was so happy. But then Mr. Jimmy Fantastic gets blitzed. And suddenly there's widows in my uh, pitch. <laughs> Glorious. I vaguely remember that. <laughs> what a wonderful game. Sounds like a Blood Bowl game. Yep. No reason Definitely indeed bad. is Blood Bowl. Uh, that is Blood That's Bowl. Blood Bowl. That's Blood Bowl. That's number wang. <laughs> I mean, it is though, isn't it? You know, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like when they say that's poker, isn't it? It's, it's just the Rat same. Rat and blood. I'm not sure it's so much that Jimmy's having fun. It's just that he's relieved he can, you know, give you all Blood Bowl content without having to play the game. That uh, worked out financially very well for him the other day. And today. Yeah, And to think... For Muppet, would have been a on him the, the other day. important game of his life. But that term has been Jimmy, retired. It was a Tuesday. For Muppet, that game is etched in his mind. It was the most important game he's ever played for Jimmy. It was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's still, he's still, he's Thank you very much, Moradan. Does he just dodge the? Oh, see, this is where the edge, the edge comes into play here. Realistically, does he just try and dodge the ball away and grab it? He doesn't need try to dodge it. Can he blitz the score? It's oh, he can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Chat yeah. to get it done. <laughs> um, Crystal, it's yeah. I mean, I'm absolutely with you, but 
we've seen a really interesting mix from John Zar. Um, he's he's had a couple of things that you thought, thought that's really nice. His his score in the second half was really good, really creative. Made good use of limited resources when he was under pressure. And then other turns you've just thought, okay, someone's hit this fella in the head with a hammer too much. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking hell! That's not a glowing appraisal. <laughs> PC turning into Artemis in front of our very yes. eyes. <laughs> I mean, it, it, if, if it was someone that wasn't any good, Jimmy, if every turn it was like that, you'd think, okay, but he, he's had some really good turns yeah. interspersed with some just awful decisions. Yeah. But, you know, it's Blood Bowl. We all make mistakes. Yeah. I, I myself, there was a turn in a recent game of mine that I don't think was entirely ideal. <laughs> I don't think anyone's mentioned that. You should bring it up again. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't great, was it? Great PC not no. playing an ideal turn with the absolute perfect equity shifting. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, fault. I think you're mistaken with someone that claims to be very good at Blood Bowl. Um, Is he Welsh I by any chance? Fully open with the fact that I make mistakes every game I play and most turns. That's yeah. you can't coach perfect blood bowl. It's not Don't be too hard on yourself, Mister Fumble. And when you do, um, when you do expect that, you end up you know, thinking that it's just impossible to enjoy this fucking game. I mean, do you know what? It's fine though. But what you make up, you know, what you lose out on in, in blood bowl playability and equity, you gain back in top-notch acting and entertainment. That's just the you know that, that's Fumble just the shift. Three plus. Pow there. That's cheeky, isn't it? Oh, no ball. Oh, very cheeky. Doesn't Nobody pick up the ball. On either Ooh. side now. Just yep. quietly. Oh, the ball is on the floor. The now, the nice the thing, as Jimmy pointed out, uh, is that that strength four not only is a one die from the ball, but of course, because it has horns, uh, is a two die back on the ball. It is. It's a horny oh. devil. With no armor break, it's pretty good. The horns changes the equity of the situation. <laughs> Yes, that's how you could put it. I mean, it, it is a dodge him. beast, so you're not likely to knock it over, but you've still got the agility 5 that can possibly come and... Oh, well, you are, because pow's happen. Yep. The edge 5 is perfectly suited for a catch. He can't pass now, or he's picked up the ball. He can't. He can't yeah, be he's he perfectly can't. positioned for it. He's already blitzed with this priest. He cannot also pass. I mean, I'm perfectly positioned for Jessica Alba to say she loves me, but... It's also no, you know, your wife would fucking go spare. <laughs> she wouldn't mind. Or have you reached that point in your life in which she'd be actually be happy for you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, one left jaw on the list. <laughs> I mean, just scrabbles all right, but have you seen Emma Stone? God. God. <laughs> have you seen Goliath Games? <laughs> Uh, Goliath Games is a true lad. I haven't seen there's, some there's say in, in my world we call a a true confuser. Goliath is not he's a, one of those men that makes you question some of your decisions in life. Who the fuck is Emma Stone? <laughs> How the fuck is not Emma Stone? Just googling her too. She's probably someone that young people like. Mm. How do you seriously? How do you not know who Emma Stone, Stone is? She's not. She's not all that. Yes, yeah, she is. No, she's not. Don't you talk about my future wife like that? Sorry, Faulty. I mean, I've, I've heard the name, I just couldn't place her. Same. No. I've heard of Emma Watson. <laughs> Emma Watson's I've okay. heard of Easy A, but not as a teen comedy. Um... <laughs> oh, and I didn't watch The Help, because I felt it was... No. I've seen Birdman as well. Oh, she was Gwen Stacy. That's where I've heard of her. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, I've also seen her in Zombieland Double Tap. Didn't realise that. Oh, is she related to Sharon, is she? Yeah, best mates. I never knew. I never knew that Roberts. You know, Eric Roberts. I didn't realise that he that he was related to uh, you know the other Roberts that. that Played the hooker, whatever her name oh, is. They did make a Zombie Land too, didn't they? Well, what's what's that? They did. Julia. It's... I never it's... knew Eric Roberts was re related to Julia Roberts. It, yeah. I literally never knew, right? It's... Until I saw Not... him. Until I saw. Him. Until I saw Julia Roberts when she was like sixty, and she looks exactly like Eric Roberts now. <laughs> That's very harsh, but yes. Going to be reporting this. Um, 
Fuck yes, I never no. saw La La Land either. I'm not a huge fan. Never of seen. Yeah, same. No, La La Land's a bit shit from what I've heard. You either love it or you hate it. It's like Marmite. <laughs> so you either hate it or you're a terrible person. I yeah. Ah, something we agree on, PC. Green without green. What has the world become to? I think Marmite's a bit shit, but can we agree that a top tier thing to put on toast is sandwich spread? No. Now look at this. Green sandwich oh. spread. I wouldn't even put that on my raw toast, never mind if toast. Actually, man, could get some real good shit going now. <laughs> real good <laughs> shit. Blood Bowl's happening, sorry. Go on, what's happening this with Blood Bowl? Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I want to deal with just how weird that thing to say that was, but I, I mean, it's sort of interesting what happens with the Blood Bowl in the next turn or two. <laughs> I mean, when you say sandwich spread, you do realise that's the name of a type of thing. No, 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 no. Heinz sandwich spread. <laughs> okay. You're old enough to remember it, aren't you? They only make the one? Well, yeah, over here, yes. It's called sandwich spread. Over in the Netherlands, they make multiple different types, but it's delicious. It's like... Do you like, um... What's it called? Salad cream. Take salad cream and then add little, little chunks of pickle into it, and then put that and a nice layer of butter on toast and sandwich spread on top, and it's divine. <laughs> What the salad fuck is cream is the poor man's mayonnaise. Is. Yeah, basically that's um, what it is. Yeah, mayonnaise is just an inferior, inferior salad cream. But you don't put salad, salad cream, cream is on great. Like if I'm having tuna, tuna mayonnaise, I'm having tuna salad cream. Because well, I grew say, up in the trap. Yeah, I mean we tend to use mayonnaise now, but salad cream. I do know a very nice recipe using prawns and boiled, um, boiled new potatoes and iceberg lettuce and salad cream, and that does taste. Very nice. I thought you were going to go for the classic prawns, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup. Mix Just on Black Ball for a second, there has been a KO, the equity has shifted, the ball was run away. <laughs> We've had a massive equity shift. <laughs> we, we sort of have. I mean, the ball is kind of not safe, but I mean, it's I like where he's put it. Yeah, it's too deep, though. It's getting too deep by tackle, isn't it? It's better than with a bull on top of it. Considering the options he had, Jim, I don't hate where he's put it, and there should be reasonable recovery for him next turn. I... But he, he can come around the back, can he? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. Make the GFI with a bull, I think. And then you can put the uh, wrestler in front, like, and then hit him into your other bull, basically. I quite like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I see that. Yep. Yes, blood bull. Yes, blood but it's just, I mean, he's got he's got the two warriors and the beast locking down that line of scrimmage reasonably well. Yeah, yeah, uh, he does. Even the dirty player Hobgob's doing a nice job on the uh, the pom piece. Yeah. I hope so, in Blood Bowl twenty twenty, uh, the video game that will be released this this year. I hope that <laughs> overtime is like a DLC. <laughs> <laughs> he's not going for the hit with that ball, so I, I guess he's going to two D here and then hit with the other ball. See, I think I think what you said would have been correct there. He hits the he hits the rotter with his with his edge hobo, then he moves over the ball to the top right hand side of the ball carrier, and then blitzes yeah. around. That's what I would have done. Double but, no, but yeah, by know, doing oh. it this way, by doing it this way, he does give him that thing of if it's a you know if he's got something on it right, if it goes wrong, and it did yeah. go wrong. So yeah, yeah, it, it's about yeah, it's about the safe place. Though I. I mean, I'm an all the marbles guy. I, I quite like Jim's play because it meant if you did get that hit, you had pieces afterwards to respond with. Yeah. Um, but instead, Crucif has gone safety first, and he's made sure he's got everything active and doing good things before he's taken any risk at all. And sure enough, it, it paid off for him. So who's to say if it was right or wrong? Ball's Can we just point out there's no need to hit the ball with tackle? He doesn't have dodge. Yes, and I'll uh, realize yep. that afterwards. <laughs> we are in Crucif's half now with the ball. Yeah. But interestingly, yeah, Crucible ball there again. does have dodge, and that's the second time it's been powered on two <laughs> die. Um, which might be making him grumpy. It, I'd certainly have noticed. Yeah. Now the tough bit. Because. Beast, beast he, I mean, I, I'm tempted not to activate anything at all. Just beast click block. end turn and say, he's, come on. He's got a beast block because he's, he's got to get these, he's got to get these uh, warrior hits. I feel. Yeah, because otherwise that dwarf with the hobgob support takes out the uh, the rotter, and then the bulls can get rowdy onto the ball again. Yeah. But if this works, this this it's not not a bad position he's built for himself. Oh. Can we dodge with this pestagon? 
Try and get up the field with him. Jump up one D, couldn't he? He'd jump up one D. Could do. I think at this point you try it. I'm not jump up sure one it's horrific if it fails. Okay, the one die that side gives him a one die the other side. No, two die the other side. Yeah, two and two. He had the. What's that? Have I missed six. He had six versus oh, yeah, five. Oh yeah, there's guards. In five versus four, yeah. Yeah, I've got. I'm in too too far away, and all the skills were overlapping. You go to the one day. Okay. You get it. The one there. I mean, you kind of had to do that, right? Because otherwise, you yeah. would have freed up the uh, bullies. And... Although that bull's break tackle, it's still a. Mm. Pylon didn't work, and now he's just got a free. And it's break tackle and dodge, it's 1 in 36 to get off that rotter. Yeah, fair. But the rotter has to stay, of course, because it's um, it's assisting the beast. Yep. Oof. What an interesting position. This is going to be a cracking little uh, end of the game. Mm. The bowler's action knows yeah. where the next swinging equity massive change will come. It just doesn't sound right coming out of your own mouth, PC. Yeah, that's because I don't sound like I'm a '80s um, stockbroker. <laughs> you do be like that. <laughs> sound like a failed '80s train. actor. Listen to <laughs> <Dice> <laughs> <Pickle>. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> One of the nice things about my job, Elp, is you can't call it failed until you're dead. <laughs> and then people can gain an appreciation for your work. Like all the other yeah, I'm dead. You can say what you want about me. That's that's fine. <laughs> when I get to dead. Just being, looking after my boy Fault Force. I ain't down. having you doing him day. That was savage, man. Oh, he's hitting that. Oh, what's he doing? I liked hitting with a wrestle so he could have got the guard in. Yeah. Because that he gets the follow up hit to, to you know two chances to try and then you get the guard in and then you get the and then you get the ball. Yeah, I didn't like that. I don't understand the plan. I'm sure there is a plan here because Christopher really does know what he's doing. He's a very, very good coach. Yeah. But right now I don't see it. So I'm looking forward to finding out how this turn unfolds. Chain push Ajib back? Yeah, I think Can that's you... what he's gonna do. I think Yeah, you can chain push the Aji onto the sideline, can't you? And Base the ball, but yeah. and you can get any style of this hobgoblin to come in the front. It's strength for it, it'll just blitz the ball off again and run away. No, yeah. he's got the hobgoblin to come as well. Yeah, he'll have the hobgoblin to follow follow around. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, no, player, that's fine. It? Once he's created the hole, the hobgoblin can follow around and get in front of it so he can blitz the ball off but then can't move forwards. No, I like that, that's solid. It's times like these that I wish the ball had dodge or uh, <laughs> sorry, the, the, the ball had a uh, had leap. Sorry. <laughs> So he could jump in on the on the ball carrier, but you and know, a, a leaping ball center would be incredible, wouldn't it? A leaping ball center would be great. Yeah. I wonder what the animation looks like. No, the... it looks terrible. Does it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's like the death roll leap. Just trying don't. Get, so he, he was trying to get the power there, wasn't he? He doesn't need. He's made a gap. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so it's a ball hit he wants, right? I thought he was settling, as you said, for marginalising the uh, the strength, the agility five. The problem Basically, I have ball. here, though, he hits it. He hits it with the ball, right? Yes. And then what happens? The the ball goes off to the side. If that lands somewhere really bad for him, that's not good. Yeah, they're going to so be equal like equity for the kicks, which isn't good for okay. anybody. So a push is all right though. there with a second dodge as break tackle didn't pop the first time. Yep. Like, honestly, the problem I'd have there is you're then you have the chance of it flying off to the left, and then that's just a random chance where it's going to get scattered to. Yeah, but this is good though because he, he can't blitz free now, so this is nice. Yeah, exactly. The scatter's all right actually because the, the edgy is here next to the sideline and boy, not where the ball is. Yeah. <laughs> NB Mark 2, uh, Fall Force is nothing like top tier commentary when it comes to Blood Bowl. <laughs> but... I mean, no, I'm the number one Death Zone commentator and player. <laughs> but, you know, he's a Also the show. only player, but, you know. <laughs> you are, you're a legend in that world, aren't you? Everyone has heard of you. Did they give Death Zone to everybody for free? Because I keep they getting them at launch. Nice. Yeah, they, I might um, get on there and have a couple of games. I paid YouTube. for it. I you paid, paid for twice, it. You paid twice for it. I gifted it to a couple. No, I gifted it to Marvel people as well. I've paid lots of times with that, so. <laughs> and then it was given out for free. They thought, well, your um, bank should have contacted you about unusual spending. 
we want to get that popularity you too got. So that's yeah, what we tried. yeah. So so what's right, the play I, here? Do you? I mean, you've got to blitz somebody, shit. haven't you? Um, the play here is you Hand dodge off. with your agility five and hit the hobgoblin at the back. Then you can one die the bull off with the rotter. No, you can't because there's a is, hobgoblin behind. Uphill, is there... uphill, the, uphill the uh, uphill the bull centaur and then blitz with the ball carrier. Blitz. No, he's already decided to blitz yeah. on the right hand side. He's already called he blitz and... the other ball carrier and scatter. The Weird ball. thing to do. I mean, he's killed a chorf, which is big for the chalice, but not the, oh, the ball carrier. The, the, the ball carrier hobgoblin. Look at that equity shift, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> massive, oh. massive, massive equity shift. He lets him die! The equity has gone insane! It's oh, he's handing off! And a true oh, game I didn't hate that. That was only a three John plus handoff. stepping off. up! What a Followed come! Three plus two plus. It? Come on, agility piece. Oh, run, run, run! Well, run for run like Forrest Gump. <laughs> run like oh, the poor servant girls in Fault Force's house. <laughs> God! Punt it. And it makes the blitz make more Punt sense it. in retrospect because yes. that claw palm is now vaguely relevant to where the ball is. Yes. I like that plan. Yeah. Do you have. Uh, Considering what was available, it's about the best he had on. Yeah. I mean, oh, 3 plus, four plus 2 plus is not terrible dice, is it? Oh! What the shuddering. Okay. I've lost track. Excellent. I've lost track Excellent. of the equity. There's so much. Again, though, without a real. Oh dear. I don't know about the oh. punt, Mike. I think he could have maybe screened him, right? He could have. Um, he could have. He could have blocked. Then he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI, or something. This guy. The one that's dodged. just been hit could have dodged off and screened him. Yeah. Yeah. The punt is a classic rat play. That's great. But yeah, that's a good point. That's edge. a good point. Chris has only got four turns and no rerolls, and that makes it a net return yeah. for him to get the ball. So yeah, that's a good. And that's a good. Particularly after killing the the agility gob hobgob. Yeah. Um, there's just no realistic way that ball's getting down the other end of the field, is there? Yeah. No. Not 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 realistic. No. But that's oh, amazing. Yeah, that looked like a totally random, terrible blitz, and now it looks brilliant, doesn't it? That's and that's a lot of the things you don't know people what people are thinking, yep. do you? When when you when you come No, I said at the time, why the hell is he blitzing there? And now yeah. that, with the plan he had, it all makes perfect sense. That blitz yeah. is now going to be, you know, Crucifer does have to do something about it because otherwise it's going to be hitting anything that yeah. comes near this ball carrier. And trying to get the ball carrier free to go and pick the ball up again. And he um, might not pay really pay nice power. Him. But if he hadn't powered him, he's in range to score, oh. isn't he? Yeah, he yeah. would have been. He had to bow there. But as it is, the uh, yeah, he had to do the go for it afterwards. If you should do the GFIs. <laughs> yeah, had to do the GFIs because otherwise the claw pommer could have claw pommed the uh, the hobgob and marked up the ball. And has tackle, so nullified the one in thirty six dodge the ball would have had otherwise. And the other ball was basing the other pest. Yeah, but no, it's basing the claw pommer. Do we run up with this hobgoblin up the field? Or do we just stay where we are? I guess he does too late. He's, he's got he's got other things to do, hasn't he? First, yeah. Like I mean, he's just punching, I yeah. wouldn't do it this turn. I you know I think there's yeah. You need to yeah. take control of the whole game, and then you can develop a scoring threat next yeah. turn or even the turn after. He's got time, but yeah. it is a long long distance without re rolls yeah. or a lot of agility. That's the problem. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you were elves, this four turns is a huge amount to fetch the ball in your backfield and get it down the other end. Yeah. But as chorfs, it's not. We don't need a spreadsheet to see, but the equity, sh equity shifted big time there. <laughs> and he can, again, he, he's still got this block from the uh, beast, hasn't he? That he's done the wrong yep. block with. I don't know, but okay. Yeah, well, has he hit that one? Okay, well. He freed up the chorf? The he could, yeah. He but has the, freed up the warrior. The thing okay. was, he needed a power that way. If he'd gone the other way, he just needed a push to free up the. Uh, free up the rotter. The rotter, yeah. yeah. But I mean, this is a better player to free. But it's, it's a big, bigger risk with a bigger payoff. Yeah. So that's that's okay. Yep. 
now this these blodge balls are getting hit by tackle, mighty blow, and claw, which is it's, it's refreshingly nice to see. So now it's probably good enough. Oh yes, no pile on here. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Now you mark up the other ball, and here comes the agility piece, which yeah. can pick the ball up on two go for it. I think he's probably got to try to, isn't oh, he? Has to, yeah. Has to. Oh. Uh, I was fine with just trying one, but he failed it anyway. No, I just think you yeah. It's just so good if you pick it up, isn't it? It's so good because they're not, you know, the bulls aren't guaranteed to knock you over, are they? They're only 55% to knock you down so with TD. Yeah. So, like, you've got to go for yeah. the pick up there. So what happens? And it's only about a one in three to fail getting there. What happens? And then a one in six to fail the pickup. It's you know, it, it's one of those turns where it's it's shit or get off the pot, you know. And it's for all the marbles, so you go for it. I respect that he did. It's been some good plans again. He, he's woken up. It's been a swingy game, but it's also been some very swingy coachy from John Za. Yep. Uh, and some of it's been absolutely excellent. Really first ranked. Yep. Um, I think picking up the killer was bad, Chunter, because he was only moved five. But he had enough to tag him. I think tagging him is good, isn't it? Because he's got tackle and everything. But he doesn't have block. He doesn't have block, no. <laughs> does he try and pick up with the ball here? He has yes. to. He does. He gets a fa Oh, he fails. Oh, he good, you expect to he's see that fail. I'm glad it did. He's going to get scored on. It's a massive turn in equity, yeah. I think yeah, that's he's it. getting banged on. Oh, my God. You just base and edgy goes for it, then? Because you can't get the assist for the two days. Yeah, yeah, you kill a bases, and then you you blitz him with the uh, blitz him with the edge five pick up. That's four, five, six, G five, G five. You could even score. Hopefully, he doesn't score. I want to see it go to kicks. Why didn't what? I'm confused again, Jim. No, I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I understand, but it. He picks up. G three. Do we do we do them? I mean, I. I think we're safe where we are. He's not um, stuck. He's not 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 And it's game. Wow. What a game. So who gets the walkover next time? Because this Nurgle, I mean, great coaching result, but they're in no shape for the next game, are they? They're not. But that was a hell of a game. Bad. Hell of a result. Hell of a game of Blood Bowl. I think if you're really John's glad here, you... You drop out of the CCR, take a season off, get ready for Blood Bowl 3. It's not a bad call. <laughs> it gets get level though. Elven Fault falls fucking out. <laughs> oh, Lee, what a, in general, just what a fantastic game of Blood Bowl. Yeah, it was an incredible game. Um, Who <laughs> is Cyber Knight next? <laughs> Some horrendous commentary. <laughs> Uh, uh, that was a solid 5 out of 7, that game. I really enjoyed it. Very good. Yeah. We've got to balance that out, though. You've got two people who know what the fuck they're talking about. And you've got uh, two people who know what they're doing here. Me and Fault Force. And, and what are, you, are you just ignoring that Muppet exists, poor little fella? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm no, no. I'm saying you and you and Muppet, PC. I mean, Jimmy's just here to fucking facilitate this, isn't he? <laughs> Scoop up some bits. Exactly. Jimmy just scoops off the top. <laughs> oh, Scoops off the content remake. All oh, right, we're getting paid for this, right? <laughs> yeah, Turn off Jim's, Jim's Jim's your off urine. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, that was unbelievable match, wasn't it? So congratulations to John Zer. What a game of football! It was absolutely Excellent fantastic. Game. Yep. And, uh, I mean, I didn't think Cruz did a lot wrong. He just didn't win that second half. Yeah, he should have gone for the win, shouldn't he? Like, he was trying to go for a safe, protect his players' win. Yeah, 1 1. Yeah, it was 1 1 in the chalice. He, he, the he's, oh, you, you're cutting out a lot, PC. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was like he, he was trying to minimise losses, like, as if it was a safe win, and he should have just. You know, it's the chalice, it's second round. I know it's only second round, I know this is. So, a when does this amazing call. video go onto YouTube? Soon. What's this? I'm getting, Soon. I'm getting a message into my earpiece here up in the casting booth. PC's wife is upset, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is out. beating him as we speak. <laughs> Not That's off, only just because beating. they haven't announced a new series of Outlander yet. Uh, that's the reason she's upset. Um, uh, Are you look, calling think, your wife basic? I think Crucifer... 
I think he's the sort of coach that doesn't just want to get to you know round four or the semi-finals. He's in it to win the chalice. Yeah. And I think that decision in the second half was about, I don't only really want to win this, I want to win this with a team that can beat Cyber Knight and then go on and win the chalice. And I, yeah. I'm not sure in my heart that was the right way to play that five-turn drive. No. But I understand why he did. I'm not going to criticize it. It was still some very good coaching throughout. The, at the right moment, uh, John's came up with some, some good ideas. The anti five saved the day. There's a raid from Christopher as well. Yeah, it's, first yes, things first, you. don't watch the VOD. <laughs> yeah, don't watch the VOD. <laughs> thank you very much, Christopher. No, no, you can watch the VOD. We were very complimentary. Um, Do you know what? Um, Christopher is. Christopher, the best way I can describe Christopher is Christopher is like WD 40, right? He's a well oiled machine. He knows what he does and he likes to play Blood Bowl, right? And he's good at Blood Bowl, but the problem is, sometimes WD-40 can be destructive. Sometimes you need some specialist oils, like silicon oil, things like that, right? But no, Cruiser is WD-40. <laughs> you do know WD-40 is the oil, not the machine. Just yes, exactly. No, but he is a well-oiled machine, but he puts WD-40 on himself when he really should be using silicon oil. You know, there were no, some equity the swings lithium. there, which he could have won. He could have made it if he just took the risk and gone for it. Sometimes you gotta, you know, risk it for the for the chocolate bicky, but you know, WD forty be like that sometimes. Right. So yeah, just <laughs> if if you're watching this for the blood bowl, try to ignore fault force completely and help completely. Um... <laughs> But there you go. There, if if you watch the VOD, Crucifer, there are times we vaguely discuss the Blood Bowl. Um, I thought there was some great coaching, and so did Jim from both sides, and the yeah. other guys talked quite a lot about me being old and urine. <laughs> yeah, um, basically. That's, that's the entire game. Well, WD40 yeah. shouldn't be used as a lube. And right. sandwich spread. Anyway, end of the stream, um, end of the YouTube video. Thank you very much, Purple Chess, Muppet Pac-Man, Fort Force and Nelt Meme. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.